Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Diola Adebi and I am the editor of fashion and beauty blog Omogimura. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Today's video is very very special to me and it's a bit different. As you can see from the title, it's a PCOS awareness video and this makeup look is inspired by PCOS because the PCOS awareness color is teal. The main point of this video is actually me going to be talking about PCOS, raising awareness and just informing you guys about PCOS and more. If you just want to jump to the part where I create the makeup look. The timestamp is going to be here. Right now, I'm going to talk about PCOS. So if you want to know more about PCOS, stay tuned and watch. So PCOS is an endocrine, actually, let me just define what it is. PCOS stands for polycystic ovarian syndrome and I have it um, PCOS is an endocrine issue which means it involves your hormones and it's caused by an imbalance of hormones in the body because of that it's not allowing my ovaries the eggs in my ovaries to develop well and what they do is that they develop into cysts and they do not develop into fully formed eggs I found out I had PCOS about three three it's i think it's actually four three or four years ago i really cannot remember but i've had pcos my whole entire life like i got my first period and after getting my first period i didn't get my next period until the next five cycles or something like that pcos has always been a part of my life but i never knew it was a part of my life until like four years ago and when i was diagnosed and when the doctor told me oh you have pcos that it kind of explained a lot of shit. The main symptoms of PCOS vary from woman to woman, but the four main symptoms are number one, you will have really, really weird mood swings, and if it, it affects your mood because of the hormones, it affects your mood in the like in the weirdest way. Like it's it's worse than PMS, believe me. The second common symptom is excessive hair growth, and I'm not really talking about like oh I'm hairy, I have to shave. Women with PCOS can grow large large amounts of hair there's a woman i saw on the internet that has like a full beard like that's how pcos can affect you um the way pcos aff um, affects my hair is that i have chin hair like i in fact i think i have oh, like i have a few growing back and i have a mustache that i have to shave i also have a line of hair that goes down my um, my stomach third symptom and it's one that's very very common is weight gain you will not be able to understand how you gain weight you will not be able to even lose the weight because pcos causes insulin resistance, and um, basically it means that you will not be able to break down the sugar in your body and because of this pcos can lead to a host of other issues which i'll explain coming and the biggest symptom that was my defining symptom is the lack of ovulation so pcos um doesn't allow you to ovulate like other women um i have not seen my period this year and we're in september so for the whole of this year i didn't, i have not seen my period i think a couple of years ago i saw my period four times in a year um and there have been years where like i'll have just two periods or one period because of your lack of ovulation this leads to sub fertility which means it's way 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 harder for you to get pregnant if you're trying to conceive but because you have pcos does not mean you cannot have children the doctor actually tests if you have pcos is really um it's a really um, interesting process your doctor that oh i think i have pcos and they'll ask you to do a hormone panel which is basically they'll take the blood They'll take blood from you and they'll check the level of hormones in your body. That is inconclusive. They could do a pelvic ultrasound and they will try and see if they can see the cysts, like if they can see the eggs that have become cysts. If that is inconclusive, the third thing which they did on me is that they, <laughs> it's called an intravenous, I can't really remember the name. I'll put it around here. Um, basically what they did is that they took um, kind of like a small cam not a small camera like a tube and they put like it has a camera on the end and they put it inside you so they put this thing up my vagina and they looked around and they could actually now it gives a really really clear picture for and it allows the doctor to see 
right in to your ovaries and it allows the doctor to see how your eggs are developing and form. The PCOS does not have a cure. There is no cure for PCOS. What you can only do is you can only manage your symptoms. So I've had to do lifestyle changes. I've had to go on several diets so that I could lose weight. Um, for a couple of years, I was on hormone tablets. I was trying to regulate my hormones because my doctor thought that, okay, if we regulate the hormones, maybe the ovulation will kick in. But mine didn't kick in, so we're just like, okay. Oh, kill. If you're hairy, you shave, you get laser. If you have, if you, if you gain weight, if you know you gain weight easily, you find a way for you not to eat so much or you find a way to lose weight. You find the exercises and you find the foods that work for you. If you know that you have mood swings, you could go on antidepressants. You can go on, there's several like antidepressants and tablets you can take to help manage your mood. And when it comes to ovulation, there's not really much they can do. I mean, you could take the, you could take the pill, and then you'll be guaranteed a period every month. So why am I telling you guys about PCOS? One, one in ten women have PCOS. That means if you know ten women, it is most likely one of them has PCOS. So it's very, very common. Um, two, PCOS, because of the fact that it leads to insulin resistance, can lead to a whole lot of uh, health issues. It could lead to um you could be obese you could lead to high cholesterol you could lead to heart attacks it can lead to tumors they're just like a host of other issues that it leads to be good if you find out you have pcos so that you'll be able to manage your symptoms and you'll be able to you know figure out um a lifestyle that will work for you i want to use my platform for good i love makeup i love beauty i love fashion but i also want to do some good in the world because there's no point of all of this if you're not doing any good if you're not affecting lives so I decided just to make this video like let me talk to the people that watch me and let me you know share my story and I hope that as you hear my story you'll go get checked you'll go make sure that everything is all right I'm gonna put a link down below to the PCOS organization this one it governs I think it governs like it's based in America but if you want to donate to their cause if you want to buy t-shirts if you want to do any of that stuff you can do that I only ask that you get yourself checked you make sure you're okay i ask that you share this video if you like the makeup look please do not forget to subscribe and please 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 if the only reason why you share this video please share it so that other women can find out about pcos and get checked and get tested because it's really important for us to be healthy so we can live long productive lives and we can live long happy lives Again, this look, I'm gonna first start off with my eyes as usual. This base is just LA Girl Pro Conceal blended out with a little bit of powder on the lid, which makes for a really nice, smooth, and flawless lip base. Doesn't like, you know, tag. Like, I feel like some primers are so drying that when you apply the eyeshadow to it, it doesn't blend well. But with this, my eyeshadow blend well and it's also pretty cheap. So, it's a win win for me. Now that I'm done with my base, I am going to go in with the Morphe 35O palette, like this. Let's start by building my crease, and I'm just going to go in with this shade right here to start building my crease. This same dome contour brush, I'm going to go in with this next shade to continue building my crease and to darken it a little bit. I'm going to go in with um, a crease brush because I want a little bit more preciseness and I'm going to go in with this grayish brown here so that I can start really, you know, defining that crease. I'm just concentrating the shadow on this part. It's not a smoky eye but I do like to just dark keep the darkened side, like the darker shade, I like keeping it on this side, I do not know why. All right, now it's time for the main eyeshadows, the main colors. So I'm going to do a blue, a teal, and purple halo eye. The purple I'm going to use is from Zaron. This is Zaron Uno Shadow. Um, this shade is called Whirlwind. So I'm going to put that on the outs and the inner corners of my eye. So 
my camera decided to mess up especially when I needed it not to mess up but what I have done is I have applied my teal this is the color I used here from the coastal sense 120 palette and I applied that right to the middle of my eyes that's the the halo like that's the pop of color that I want to show that we have that beautiful pop of teal I am gonna go in with a gel liner to create my winged line this is the blot beauty long-lasting gel liner in number one I love this stuff <laughs> I love it I love it I included it in my August I love it I, um, I like I love this video it's the perfect liner for smudgy eyes it's it also stays put it's it, it lasts a while like like when I remove this at the end of the day it's like a lot of struggle because it is literally long-lasting all right now that my wing liner is done I'm gonna take this Kudi Cosmetics black kajal and apply it to my waterline and then i'm going to apply some mascara this is the girling curl definer mascara this is a sample this is my favorite mascara and i was looking through my makeup stuff and i saw it and i was like yes <laughs> because i really love this mascara and i haven't been able to find um my full version i do not know where it went so i'm going to use this sample I'm done with my eyes for now. Let us move on to the face. So my primer, I'm going to be using the Nivea Men um, Aftershave Balm. And I learned this from Nikki Tutorials. It's sticky and it allows your makeup to stick to it. I just advise not to use too much. And to add a bit of luminosity to my face, I'm going to use the Black Opal True Color Perfecting Primer. I like this primer because it has um, a bit of luminosity to it. And when I apply it to my skin before foundation, it allows it to glow. Time for foundation. And I am going to be using the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse. As you can see, it's almost done. But lucky for me, I have a backup. I love this foundation because it is matte and has such an interesting texture to work with and it blends very very nicely into the skin and forever i'm gonna be using the la girl pro conceal in the shade toffee I'm gonna apply it under my eyes i'm not applying a lot today I am gonna bake it or I'm gonna bake my under eye with the Sasha buttercup powder and apply with the cosmetic wedge bake under my eye I'm just gonna take a powder brush and apply it to my forehead so my camera cut me off again so there's some parts that I had to like that didn't record so what I did is that I applied um, the teal color that's in the center of my lid to my bottom lash line and I then I contoured. I used the Guerlain Terracotta Four Seasons Bronzing Powder to contour, and I used an angle brush. It's time for some blush. I am going to be using the Zaron Blush, and blush in the Hyper Blush range, and this is the shade Rose Charm. Time to highlight, 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 highlight. I'm going to be using the Teos Cosmetics. I haven't used this in a while, have I? Teos Cosmetics Highlighting Kit, Strobing Palette. Now that we're kind of done with the face, I'm going to go in with the finishing powder. This is the Black Opal Finishing Deluxe Finishing Powder in the shade Deep. I am just going to take a little bit of that and kind of use it to set my entire face. Finish off my eyes with mascara on my bottom lashes. Right, now it's time for my lips. First, I am going to line my lips with the Zara Lip Pencil in the shade Mahogany. Then, um, and on top of that, I'm going to apply this cage lipstick I got um, in the shade Caramel. And this is the finished look. 
so thank you so much for watching this video i really really do appreciate it as i said it was different do not forget to subscribe also omogimura was nominated in the genevieve beauty award as best beauty blogger so thank you so so much for that you can vote for me i'm gonna put the voting link down below thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it see you next week